I'm going to put 99 Justin Verlander and 99 Carlos Correa on the all-time New York Mets. I actually can't believe that they got Carlos Correa last night. I went to bed really early and I woke up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom and I looked at my phone and I saw that. I thought I was still half asleep. Now, as I said in the video where I used DeGrom on the all-time Rangers, adding these off-season signings to these all-time teams is something I normally don't do. Like traditionally, I like to save the spots on these teams for players that have actually played. But we're having fun this year. We're spicing it up. And like it or not, this is one of the most historic off-seasons for a single team probably ever. So we're going to recognize that. Now, a couple things about the Mets. I do have Keith Hernandez starting at first first base I really wanted to put Pete over there but I feel like when you break it down fully Keith Hernandez probably should still be the starter on the all-time Mets also I'm using the 96 Gary Carter in right field I do have the 99 but the 99 can't play right field could I have put him out of position sure but I don't really feel like there's a reason to. Joining Verlander in the rotation, I have DeGrom, Seaver, Glavin, and Leiter. If I didn't have Verlander in the rotation, I'd probably have Max Scherzer there. And honestly, this is a pretty decent bullpen, maybe a little bit iffy on some of the righties, but overall, I think it looks pretty good. Dude, I'm so happy I waited to record the all-time Mets video. I went to Vegas this weekend and I was trying to get a couple all-time teams done before I left. Ultimately, I ran out of time. The Mets were next on that list and I decided to wait and I'm so happy I did now. If I would have recorded this at the day before Correa signed, I would have been so pissed. Gonna go circle change away. Oh, that's a beautiful pitch. We got him 0-2, we went with the changeup. Let's go with the fastball this time, high and away. Oh, he's not even gonna offer. 0-2, I'm gonna go cutter. High and away. Yep, knew it. JV has arrived in New York. Brandon Nimmo leading off. Another guy who got paid this offseason. He definitely deserves it, man. He's been really good for the Mets out there in center field. Hey, and Max Scherzer's pitching, so this is good. We still get to see Max Scherzer in the all-time Mets video, even though he's not on my team. No way, Nimmo just went lead off tank. Come on, baby. Brandon Nimmo, 380 feet on the first at bat of the game. This game could not be starting off any better. Let's go Piazza, come on. We're in Shea Stadium right now, brother. We got this. Oh, no way I missed that. Oh my God. That was the one, dude. Here he is, baby. Carlos Correa in a Mets uni. Oh, come on, come on, leave. No, dude. That would have been too electric if Correa went yard there. We got a tie ball game. That's a damn good swing with Posada, dude. That's good though. I want some pressure on JV. I want to see him in a close game. But as always, I got to ask you guys for every all-time team video, what player do you want to see in the game next year that would make the all-time Mets better? I instantly know what player I want. Ooh, that's a dot. And I'm actually surprised the guy that I'm going to talk about wasn't in the game this year. The guy I want to see is David Wright. I'm surprised he's not in the game this year because at the beginning of the year, before the game came out, they advertised the cover athlete pack and they were saying all the cover athletes were going to be coming back. And some of them did like Ryan Howard, uh, even Adrian Gonzalez later on. But David Wright was nowhere to be found. And I thought that was really interesting considering he was a cover athlete. I thought he would be in the game. But next year would also be the perfect time to add him in because we're getting the World Baseball Classic in March. And... Damn, so an oppo on an outside change. I mean, that's just a good swing again. This guy's locked in here in the second. But yeah, with the World Baseball Classic happening in March, I feel like the first bit of content we're gonna get in MLB 23 is gonna be centered around the World Baseball Classic. And I think that's another perfect opportunity to get David Wright in the game. He would be a sick third baseman to have. He needs to be in the game. That's my pick. Let me know who you guys want. Okay, he got two. I got to answer back here. Although I'm absolutely atrocious with this Lindor card. I'm hitting 091. That is not going to make the average go up. I don't even think I've used this Keith Hernandez card. Under that. Ugh. Wow, I don't even know what to say about that inning. That was bad on every level. All right, moving into the fourth inning. Got to face the heart of his order. Come on, JV, give me a clean inning. I've got two, three, and four coming up in the offensive side of things. Let's just keep this at a one-run deficit. I'm feeling good about the bottom of the fourth. 
popped him up. Great start. Bro, the Mets payroll, by the way, is <laughs> insane. According to Jeff Passan, their payroll is estimated to be about $384 million. The luxury tax payments alone will exceed $111 million, making their total payroll $495 million. The previous max payroll in baseball, less than $350 million. Mets are at almost half a billion dollars. That really is insane, dude. Steve Cohen made a promise to Mets fans that he was going to do whatever he could to improve the team. And if he had to spend money to do it, he's going to do it. And he's lived up to that promise so far. Whether these moves end up working out for the Mets or not, I mean, the Mets fans have to be ecstatic about having an owner that spends like this. But at the same time, this is going to put a lot of pressure on the Mets. If they don't win this year with that payroll, that's not going to be remembered well by baseball fans. They are going to get clowned. So yeah, there's a lot to be excited about in Queens right now, but there's a lot of pressure too. All right, we got to turn it around. I literally have done nothing at the plate since Brandon Nimmo's leadoff home run. We got to get, we got to get some pressure on him. We got to get going. Perfect spot in the lineup to do it. Come on. Mike Piazza, did I miss that one? It doesn't look like it, but that still might die at the track. Oh my God, a 400 foot fly out. Yeah, that's, that's brutal. Oh, dude. McNeil, can you beat that, please? What is going on with the bats? Come on, Correa, make an impact. That's a line out. Oh my God, give me a break game. All right though, JV's just gotta keep doing his thing. He hasn't really done much since his second inning where he hit two bombs. I'm gonna try to dot a low and away cutter. Oh, that's beautiful, man. Eight strikeouts for JV. Got that, got that easy. And we got a one, two, three. Even with that second inning, Justin Verlander's throwing a great game. He just hasn't had any help yet. Lindor, come on, come on, dude, please don't tell, oh my God, please don't, we're all seeing this, right? Gary Carter, there it is, let's go, tie game, who needs the 99 card? Finally, the game gave me something, dude, 419 feet, this sixth inning is going to be it for Justin Verlander. He's leading off the bottom of the inning. And dude, if I can get six quality innings out of him, that's fine. I got plenty of guys I can use out of the pen. Oh, that had so much late movement. Yeah, again, Lindor. Just stay there all day, dude. One more out, JV. That's all we're looking for. Uh, he's battling this at bat. I, I think I'm going to try the high and away cutter. He might be looking for this, though. Oh, 3-2. Got him. Three pop-ups to the middle infield. Hey, I'll take that start from Verlander all day. Six innings, two runs, three hits. We can work with that. And I think for this spot, I'm going to go Carlos Delgado. New legend in the game this year. I'm definitely throwing him here. Oh, don't. Don't do this. Let Delgado hit. Ah, okay. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go Big Meat Pete. Mmm. Damn. That's not good. Damn it, dude. Just missed that one with the PCI and the timing. Come on, Piazza. I was late on the slider. Man, that was an awful inning. This Mets offense is way more quiet than I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to put up a good amount of runs here. Two solo shots, and that has been it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he did. Just put the tag on him. Thank you. I mean, luckily for me and my offensive woes, this guy's having just as many issues at the plate as I am. So we're still in a good spot. Yeah, he's late. We got that, Gary. Come on, man. Bottom seven. Let's score some runs. Jeff McNeil? Jeff McNeil? That looks like it's dying. Maybe not. Jeff McNeil lefty lefty off of Raldis Chapman. And we finally got the lead back. Correa, you have been robbed twice. Come on, you're due. I missed it, dude. I dropped my PCI too far. 0 for 3 with Carlos Correa. Lindor? Yep, that's gone. That's gone. He hesitated in left field. Lindor! This is what I was waiting for, dude. I needed this. Should be able to get another inning of work from Billy Wagner here with a lefty leading off. Yep. Uh, dude, he's popped up on the infield so many times. High and away to Bobby B 
Come on, come on. Oh my God. Yep, goodbye. Incredible eighth inning from Billy Wagner. And now for the top of the ninth, you know who's coming in for the save. Let's get this done, Diaz. Slider underneath. Okay, why can't I control my center fielder? Hello? And I... Thanks for finally letting me control Nimmo. What the hell was that? Bro, how did he barrel that? That was a slider like way under this. How do you barrel that pitch with Victorino? <laughs> Edwin Diaz just blew the save. I don't even know what to say. Two batters, two extra base hits, and we're tied. I'm in shock. I did not expect Edwin Diaz to do this. I Bro, why is he crushing Diaz so hard? I mean, that's an out, but damn, he's hitting the ball well off him. I may not be able to let Edwin Diaz go much further. I, this dude is locked in. Okay, we got belly. All right. Hey, you know what? All that did was set up Carlos Correa for hopefully a walk-off home run opportunity. Jeff McNeil needs to get on base so Correa can win it. Or Jeff McNeil might have just won it himself. Okay, that works too. Jeff McNeil with the walk-off home run, his second of the game, and the all-time Mets get a W. It was a hard-fought W, but it was a W. I mean, it would have been cool to get Correa up in that spot, but hey, I'll take the win, dude. So after that, only 10 teams remain on the all-time team wheel. Let's find out who the next team is going to be. We have the Giants. It's only fitting that we do the Mets and then the Giants.